Hey everyone, this is Cirox City here from Oxide City, and today I'm going to be doing a um, Far Sky adventure. Um, I know I've talked to um, you guys here from the channel about Far Sky before. What it is, it's basically a um, sort of Gary's Mod, uh, kind of meets Minecraft, kind of meets Seven Days to Die, uh, kind of that game type. So what we're going to go about here today... Um, I know I've only made a few videos before normally just talking about me um, explaining the video briefly um, um, I don't know if too many people have heard of this game but basically what this game is it's a survival game where you um, are exploring the oceans uh, for a company of yours and your submarine crashes um, you are stranded and must find the pieces to your submarine that broke and as scattered as you fell um, first mission you had to do when you fell down here was find your base, uh, which I had already done. Um, um, just now, a new game I just spawned. Oh, there's a shark. Oh, shh. <clears throat> but, um, tall grass all around, big silver area. Haven't explored down there, and I found some gold up there, but this is his base, or my base now that I just found it. First thing I normally like to do when I come in here, I open up this chest. Inside you will find your um, equipment and all that you will need to survive. Let me organize this really quickly. We put our coal in here and we start cooking that meat off uh, to start off with. Wow, meanwhile that's going up. I'm going to go up here and I'm going to place this extractor um, briefly close. Somewhere I can uh, get to it at night without being attacked by barracudas or sharks and this is the adventurer mode as well so it's a little bit more difficult than the original survival mode that I've uh, normally done um, like a few short videos on um, something I'm gonna be honest with here when I first played this game I s was completely terrified of the surroundings and everything <clears throat> especially once you get down to lower floors let me show you give me a second here And I don't know if you guys kind of saw that, but that drop kind of looked a little bit dark. And uh, I'm going to keep exploring a little bit here while I got that meat cooking up there. Um, I know I should have bought maybe a knife or something to defend myself, but I really want to show you guys this first before I do anything. Yep, that was the drop that goes down onto lower floors. And it goes on for that for about four floors or so. Pretty terrifying in my opinion. But let me get up this hill. Yeah, I should have probably bought a knife so I could get some more uh, fish here, meat, and probably barracuda. That barracuda is probably going to attack me. Okay, down at the bottom, if you guys saw that, my air meter refilled completely. There, um, I opened that up, got myself a knife, I organized my inventory here a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, let me make my way up this hill. There you go, same drop, you see that? That is terrifying. There's a shark. And I love how this game... I don't know, it just... The ambiance it gives as well. I'm not sure if you all can hear the uh, music. It's kind of got a... Whoa, that's a great white shark. Oh my gosh. But it's got sort of like an ocean-y ambiance kind of feel. Um, I like it, but let me get this gold right here before I go up there and get that uh, coal that's on the top of the hill.
Manta ray. Ah, they're so large. I don't know which spears you have to use, but you have to use a really high level of spears to get uh, meat from them. Um, manta ray meat. I'm not too sure which kind it is. I haven't done too much background uh, research on that. Um, but I'm sure I could find out here soon. I'm going to get this far from my house. Oh, I hear a whale. I hear a whale somewhere. Okay, I did a little bit of exploring there. Um, <clears throat> but let me get back here into my base and get my thoughts organized and everything. First thing we should be getting here is uh, enough iron to make the rest of these uh, benches or such. So well, let me come back out here. <clears throat> I'm going to cut out here while I get all the materials. All right. All right. So I mined up a bit of material, about a stack and a half or so, or almost a stack and a half. Uh, my, uh, I'm uh, here hungry in the game, as you can see. Um, I am 84% hungry and it is starting to get dark. Once it gets dark, things start to get scary here. Let me head on inside um, and I'll do some hunting at night so I can show you guys how scary it is. Oxygen is replenishing down at the bottom. Let me eat this piece of uh, fish, it didn't do very much. <clears throat> I have another one. That's probably why I didn't do very much because that other piece was uncooked. Oh my gosh. Let me make a, okay. Building workshop there. Furniture there, equipment there. Perfect. Let's make ourselves some equipment. Helmet. All right, increases our resistances by 20, damage reduction by 25% for the iron diving suit. And then the oxygen diving cylinders gives us three more minutes of oxygen. Looks like to me this is um, a good place to stop for now. We have our essentials. Um, next time I'm going to show you guys here how it is to hunt in the dark. Uh, I'm going to cut the video out for now. Um, Alright, see Rock City. I'm out.